Hello everyone, I'm Sharpeter43 once again, bringing you all another Wi-Fi battle. Now, interestingly enough, this Wi-Fi battle is actually going to be in Pokemon X and Y. Reason being is just because somebody on Discord was actually looking for X and Y battles, and I definitely wanted to take advantage of doing X and Y battles because um, I like doing Gen 6 battles, in all honesty. And it's been a while since I last did one, so I figure why not. And plus, nobody really does um, Generation 6 battles in, um, in 2018 nowadays, so... I figure I could be the only one that do it, does it. And plus, like I said, I like doing Gen 6 battles. I don't know if you people know this, but um, ever since I played the the, X, uh, the Generation 6 games, which was basically in 2015, um, I've grown a liking to them. Like I, it's something. Like I wish I played these games a lot sooner. In all honesty, because I never actually did. I know I am aware that the Generation 6 started like in 2013, and I started playing them like in 2015. I started doing Wi-Fi battles in 2016, which is Eh, kind of lame like I wish once again I, I wish I could have done them sooner because um, you know how I am um, doing um, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon battles right now since then I was able to get into stuff like um, draft leagues as well which is something I wish I could have done in generation 6 but once again I just couldn't because I didn't have the capabilities for it so now I do but again because of the whole missing out on generation 6 for most of it um, I decided to just do um, like now i feel open to do generation 6 battles even today i know it's gonna be rare nowadays so that's another reason why i'm just open to them because if if i find anyone interested i'm just gonna i don't see why not so yeah and plus i can enjoy this um game a little bit more um give it more time basically so yeah anyways i don't know if you guys even understood what i was saying but i mean bear with me or please understand but anyways uh to the battle my opponent for this battle is going to be um, urine. I found him on Discord. He wanted to do an LU battle, so I made this team. Consists of Garchomp, Sharpedo, Ferrothorn, Cafagrius, Weavile, and Gardevoir. Mega Gardevoir, by the way, because I couldn't use Mega Sharpedo in X and Y because Mega Sharpedo wasn't a Mega in um, X and Y, so yeah. Now, interestingly enough, I am going to use Garchomp, which is a Pokemon that I've never used as well. Like, I've used, um, I've seen a lot of people use it, so I never wanted to use it, so. But now, because this is Generation 6 and nobody plays this meta anymore, um, I decided to use Garchomp here. Ferrothorn as well because I don't think I've ever used Ferrothorn in Generation 6 whatsoever. So, and, and I decided to throw in Sharpedo because I wanted to see if I can actually make regular Sharpedo work in OU and X and Y since I can't use Mega Sharpedo. So, it, it's basically a bunch of Pokemon that I just uh, strung together and I wanted to see how well I can do with it. If you look at his team, his team consists of Flygon, Milotic, Sableye, Ninetales, Substrika, and Scizor. It's not an it's not entirely an OU team in all honesty. Like the Scizor is OU. Uh the Ninetales could very well be LU if it's a drought set. And um well there's no Mega Sableye, so that's certain that's one thing I have for certain it's not gonna be OU. In fact I think it was UU at the time. My Lodic I think was UU as well. But um yeah. His team is kinda threatening nonetheless because it matches up well with my team and even if it didn't Let's be honest with this. After what happened with Heisenberg and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I just can't underestimate anyone anymore because I end up paying for it really badly. And I don't want history to repeat itself here in 2018 because, come on, that's kind of annoying in all honesty. But here we go. This is going to be the battle against me, or uh, between me and Urin. He's going to lead off with Scizor. I believe I'm going to lead off with a Cigar Chomp. <laughs> Gar Chomp, damn it. I was going to say Sar Chomp. <laughs> Gar Chomp, damn it. <laughs> And okay, he's gonna uh, switch out going to my Lodic. I decided to get my rocks up because I was hoping he'd be afraid of me um, going for a fire move because Garchomp's do carry fire moves for scissors specifically and fire thorns. So I was thinking he'd probably think I'd carry it. He does, and because he switches to my Lodic, I get rocks up, and because I stay in, I get a toxic off as well, which is what I wanted to avoid it getting a flame or rope if it has it. He's gonna go for Ice Beam. I was convinced I could take it. I was I was definitely not hoping for the freeze though, which he does get. So because of this, now I have to. I'm gonna save this basically for fodder, and instead I'm just gonna switch into Ferrothorn, so I can take another Ice Beam. If he freezes this thing too, that's just kind of where the whole game is just not going in my way in my favor. So here he's actually gonna go for Skull instead, which I resist, which is nice. But he's gonna get the burn, which sucks because now I can't hit this Milotic hard with Power Whip. So what I'm gonna do now instead is just go for spikes. I'm pretty convinced he's gonna want to switch out anyways, cause he do I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to take leech seeds, especially when he's toxic poisoned. So he I'm pretty sure he's gonna switch out here. He ends up switching out, and he's actually gonna go into I believe Substrika. No, not Substrika. What the hell? 
he does not go into sub striker he goes into sableye and um because he's an in sableye i'm pretty convinced he wants to go for taunt either taunt or just set up in my face um calm minds and then um start spamming shadow ball or something but anyways after i get these spikes up and I, what I decided to do is just switch out because like I said I am I'm anticipating the taunt I don't think this is an offensive Sableye and even if it was Gardevoir should be able to take at least one hit and what I can do with Gardevoir is Mega Ball because by the way Mega Gardevoir is um, the Mega here Gardevoir is the Mega here basically and I do have Hyper Voice on this thing so I can just spam it and he has no switch ins to Hyper Voice necessarily because he could switch in Scissor which resists he could switch in Ninetales which resists but because I got Rocks and Spikes up Neither of these mods are going to take it very well, and after it's taken at least one hit, it's going to get two hit KO'd basically. So here comes Scizor, he does switch in Scizor before um, Ninetales. I go for Hyper Voice after I Mega Evolve with Gardevoir. And um, it's going to do quite a lot, especially because this Scizor is actually regular Scizor and not Mega Scizor. Mega Scizor is typically bulky, so um, the fact that I get this free Hyper, uh, Hyper, Voice, eh, Hyper Voice damage on the Scizor, um, when it Mega Evolves, uh, it's not going to be that big of an issue because what I'm doing right here is switching in Garchomp hoping he goes for Bullet Punch. This was risky because if he had gone for Swords Dance or even Roost, we could have been in a bit of a predicament. Specifically Roost. I think Roost is more threatening because if he has Roost and then Swords Dance, that's kind of where we're in trouble because then the thing gets to set up and get away with sweeping potentially with Bullet Punch because my team doesn't have necessarily a resistance to Bullet Punch. And whatever it does have resistance to it, which is Sharpedo, it's not going to be able to take a Technician Boosted plus 2 stab Bullet Punch from Mega Scizor in all honesty. So... Yeah, I'm glad he went for Bullet Punch here because this allows it to go down to Rough Skin and Rocky Helmet from Garchomp. And on this Double Down, I'm just going to be able to send in Weavon because he has Flygon, which can be potentially Choice Scarfed. And I do have Ice Shard to take out Flygon if he tries to do anything fancy with Flygon. He's not going to let it um, take an Ice Shard though, so he's going to switch out into my Lodic. And this is where I decide to go for Knock Off so that I can actually knock off the Leftovers that this thing has. And um, prevent it from recovering much quicker because let me tell you, Pokemon with Leftovers are just super annoying to deal with because... Um, every time you try to do something or if you're forced to switch out the damn Pokemon gets HP recovery with um, leftovers and then it becomes harder to take out. So the fact that I knocked this off from my Lodic specifically which is one of the more bulkier mons in, in the game is really really good. So after knocking off this leftovers I decided to go for low kick. I was thinking I could take it out just given the weight that my Lodic has but I guess because of the marble scale it, it, it survives and he's able to get a, one last skull on me and get with a crit which is kind of annoying. but. At the same time, I, I don't think I really lose much getting this Milotic out of the way. So I, I was actually glad I went for low kick nonetheless. Weaken this Milotic, just pressuring it so that it doesn't try to go for recover. And if he goes for recover, I can just switch it out into something else. Like maybe Gardevoir. So here he's going to go into Substrika now. And now I'm just going to go into Ferrothorn again. This was risky because if he has a fire move, which I am aware Substrikas can carry, it can take out my Ferrothorn from where it's at right now. Especially after this Wild Charge. But it's a wild charge, so I was thinking, eh, if it's a physical um, sub so strike, I may not even be, um, it might not carry a fire type move. So I was thinking, okay, let's just go for Leech Seed. Plus, I wanted to see if it was Choice or not, if it was Bandit or not. Because that f f um, wild charge did quite an amount of damage, even though I am aware that sub so strikers do have better physical attack, though. So, yeah. But once again, I just went for Leech Seed to see if he wanted to stay in. He does not stay in, he actually hard switches into Flygon. I'm guessing, hoping that um, I go for, I don't know. Maybe another layer of spikes, which Flygon is immune to. But no, I just go for Leech Seed. And I just um, get more leftovers recovery, take burn damage. And then here, I believe he's going to U-turn. I switch out and I go into Kafaragus instead because I was afraid of this Flygon carrying a Fire-type move for my um, for my Ferrothorn. And I was af afraid that from where I'm at in HP, that it would definitely be in range of any Fire-type move from Flygon to take me out. So I decided to just switch out and go into Kafaragus. After this U-turn, I believe he goes back into Sableye. Because since he knows it's a Kafarius, and Kafariuses are very well known for just setting up stuff and then um, attacking. I'm pretty convinced he's going to go into Sableye. Well, actually, I wasn't convinced. He U-turned, so he gets the switch advantage, and he decides to send out Sableye. Now, here, because he sent out Sableye, I was convinced he wanted to go for Taunt again. And again, if he goes for Shadow Ball, it's not going to one-hit KO my Mega Gardevoir, which has a lot higher special defense than regular Gardevoir, so I was definitely confident I can live at least one. And so I decided to hard switch in the Gardevoir, so that he's forced to switch out again, or just lose Sableye. Because, once again, Hyper Voice can definitely annihilate a lot of this guy's team. He's going to go for Taunt, like I expected, and I'm just going to retaliate with a Hyper Voice here. 
This Hyper Voice is definitely going to take out Sableye because it's a Sableye. Sableyes don't typically survive Mega Hyper Voices from Guard Wars. <laughs> I wanted to say Hyper Voices from Mega Guard Wars, jeez. But um, yeah, so now he goes in the Flygon, which could be Scarfed. Either that or he's trying to win the Speed Tie. He does win it if he is not Choice Scarfed and he does get the Earthquake off. And it's not going to KO me, thankfully, because um, Flygons are not typically that powerful anyway. And I'm able to retaliate with a Hyper Voice, taking out this Flygon, which is really, really good. Because this Flygon could potentially have been a threat in all honesty. I mean, I know I have Weavile, but, you know, he still has the safe switching in the Ninetales. So, Ninetales is going to come in, get Rocks damage, get um, Spikes damage, and interestingly enough, not reveal Drought. So, this is not even a Drought Ninetales, which is kind of interesting. Makes me wonder if it's Flash Fire or not. But, he does, get for, he does go for Nasty Plata, which is kind of... I don't think that was a good play in all honesty, because if what he was trying to do was win the Speed Tie, he just won the Speed Tie there, but he didn't even attack my Gardevoir, which... He could have probably taken it out had he just attacked my Gardevoir, but he didn't do that, so he ends up losing um, Langtail's Toy Psy Shark, and now his last Pokemon is Substrika. Now here I was thinking, okay, what's he going to do, Wild Charge me? Because I can just send in Sharpedo afterwards, but as you can see, what he does here is actually go for Wild Charge so that he gets plus one speed. This unfortunately prevents my Sharpedo from coming in and getting the final KO, and as a result, I'm now forced to send in Weavile that can just go for Ice Shard. And I'm definitely convinced that from where it's at, it's going to take it out because I shard his stab on Weaver and it's Life Orb and this Substrika is weakened. So, yeah, we take out Substrika and that's going to be the whole game. Good games to Urine there. Thank you all for watching this battle. I do have another battle with Urine that I want to showcase, but I'm not going to be able to showcase it right now because if you haven't heard, there's a lot of freaking noise out there that's getting on my damn nerves. And like I said, I want to find a better opportunity to do this. So I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to showcase the other battle later, but for now, this is all I have. So until then, I'll catch you guys next time. For now, just take it easy.